Welcome, everyone. We hope that you've been making the very best of your lives for the past three and a half months. Um, we've been trying to make the most of ours, and what we've been working on is an album. Uh, we have tracks that we recorded back in February, the last time that we all actually saw each other in person. This looks like laughter. <laughs> I, I still can't get rid of those bumps. <laughs> those, yeah, that's going to be a while. I, I worked on those for a long time. Anyway, we've got some tracks here, and we'd like to share little bits of them mm. with you. Uh, and uh, we'll give so, some notes, and yeah, we'll just go from there. Anybody well, else have any? Yeah, let's let's tell them. Uh, uh, we're this is uh, the debut of our EP called First Round, and it's just the first round. And as you know, if you know the band, there will be many more later. Yeah. Um, because so we've this got EP, a serious problem. If you're watching, <laughs> if you're watching this right now, you can get the EP right now, exclusively at piratesroyale.store, S-T-O-R-E, and the, the URL is at the bottom of the screen. Um, four tracks and a interactive digital liner note with some Easter egg goo attached. It's sticky. Ostrich mm, size. That's the best kind. Bring a so, towel. Uh, we recorded this at uh, the Werdaka Brewery in Maryland, um, an absolutely lovely venue, and they did a wonderful job at keeping us as drunk, I'm sorry, as comfortable as possible during the yes. entire time. It was two days, um, uh, several sets each day, um, and it, it does now hold the record for the longest set ever recorded by a Pirates Royale band. 87 sure. hours. <laughs> It, it only felt that way. Uh, <laughs> didn't come up for air once. Linear. Um, also, like Linear to mention minutes. that we had a fantastic audience for yes. for every show. Uh, we Linear. we have the best audience Jeez, in the mates. world. We, we the love best you. Audience in the world. Sure. In all kinds of ways. So uh, this first track, um, this first track is uh, called General Taylor. It's uh, it's a sea shanty. Um, I'm, I'm seeing the lead on it, but you know, the, this band has done this, uh, several times over, you know, the last 30 years or so with, um, uh, different, a different style, different iterations. Um, it's what we call I, a chestnut. Right. And we decided to bring it back. Um, I, and I, I said, I'd like to do it because, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of doing ballads and only ballads and I want to sing something, but it's not a ballad. So, uh, jumped right on that. It's part of this yeah. therapy. That's <laughs> right. I had to do something upbeat. So here's a little excerpt from General Taylor. Tell me where story, walk him along, jump him along. Tell me where story, carry him to his burying ground. We'll lower him down on a golden chain, walk him along. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Nice, nice performance. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a good song. Good. I'd like That's to point out fun. that this EP uh, has, has uh, at least four tracks that have never been recorded by the, the Pirates before. This yeah. is all new music on the EP. Um, uh, and, and Eric's interpretation of this song um, is both high energy and, and spot on. So uh, yep. good job for you, buddy. We, we, you, didn't, buddy. we didn't suck as much as we could have. That's right. We could They're have gone. I think I think of that for the whole project. Next whole time. Project. I, I, Next I, time we will. Next speaking time. Speaking of promise. not sucking as much, um, the next track is uh, brought to you by <laughs> brought to you by Matt, um, and uh, he's he's doing one of another another chestnut. You know, this is one of those that uh, is that full of worms. That makes two. That makes two yeah. chestnuts. Just just why is it a chestnut? If I get three, do I get one of those golden flowers and a a tingling sound. Like I think there's some crusher. celery involved. I, if I don't you know. have two nuts in a wall, what's it called? Yeah, Gold two day. chestnuts and a cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nice. That's a lot of fun. I love that song. <laughs> I, I stole some of these verses directly from a friend of mine, Tim. Um, uh, and I, I, I've always loved this song, and I'm really, really happy I was able to do it with you guys because uh, that was a lot of fun. It was high energy. The, the crowd seemed to love it. Yeah. One of the and, best things about it is yeah. really the first documented case of jazz hands in history. That's very true. So, yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah, I'd forgotten yeah. about that. I uh, have an ethnomusicologist friend at the Library of Congress who's going to look into that. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> Moving on, um, she she couldn't be with us this evening, uh, but we were lucky to borrow. She's too famous, uh, Jen Bell, from her other band, her 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 substitute band, Dublin Five. But she did join us for this concert, and the day of the concert, we were supposed to have a special guest come and sing an old body balladeer song from back in the back in the early days of the Maryland Renaissance Festival and. Oh, yeah. she, she was ill and wasn't able to join us, so we thought, well, you'll, maybe Jen can sing it. She knows the song. And um, we reworked it for Jen to sing it with us guys. It's not safe for work. No. No. Nope. nope. This, this uh, by the way, was worked up literally five hours before the show. Like we, right. Three yeah. hours, three hours yep. before it was sung was when we figured out how we are going <laughs> to arrange it. Reads the tune. Yeah, this is the Red Band trailer right here. <laughs> <laughs> it was very important for us to do though because we were doing uh, a a an evening that was um, in honor of an institution that that we were a part of for years and years and years called Pub Sing at the Maryland yeah. Renaissance yeah. Festival and uh, and the Body Balladeers were integral in that early on just as we were and, uh, yep yeah. cornerstone yeah oh, absolutely yep. all, right, all right let's let's have a listen All right. I think Definitely it goes not safe for work. Yeah. I think it go it it, it 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 went downhill from there on a steady incline. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh it was a precipitous drop. Yeah. It, but it it was a lot of fun and we did it both nights and both nights I think we were both kind of all grooving to it. I mean at the, at the end of both times I think we all looked at each other and said, "Oh, it's a keeper." Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's, no, it's, a, it, it's a song that's done at Renaissance festivals by girl body bands all over the country and I've heard it dozens dozens more dozens of times and uh, I think our audience knows the song but they laughed harder than I've seen an audience laugh in decades uh, because we I, we really brought a freshness to it yeah, I, it, there's, there's, there's a that. part of it too which you know everybody knows where it's going but <laughs> but even though everybody knows where it's going it still takes people by surprise. Even some of the people that have been hearing it for, no, no joke, 30 years. Yeah. Right? So each time it's done, there's some modifications and slight changes. But the way that Jen delivers it and, and then we a back it up, man, that's it's got to be my favorite version that I've ever heard. Yeah. She's a force of nature. She is. Like this. Like she this. is. And, and she's the, the sexiest pirate that we all know. She so. puts the pills in pilfer. True. Speaking um, of what, what else, Dude, what else do we have? Dude, oh yes, I, 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 could I ask you quickly? Uh, 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 when when you were writing the book, Jack, you seem to be very focused on the idea of of uh, footnotes. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? I love footnotes. I, I think them. they're the greatest greatest uh, literary. Uh, tool that mankind has ever created and i even have a footnote in the book about the history of footnotes 
noting the longest footnote in history. Just saying. So it's, it's important to, to say that, that, that Tim wrote a book about the, uh, the Pirates Royale, and it, it's absolutely fabulous. It, it's in the Library of Congress. My friend knows it's for real. he saw it. It's for real. And, uh, and in fact, that book is available for sale. And he is actually giving you a little book on tape experience with this book. Um, uh, I, I, for one, think it's absolutely fabulous. I'd love to hear some of it. Um, and for those of our fans under the age of 40, when Matt says book on tape, what that means <laughs> is an audio book. It's like an a podcast. audio book. Yeah, like a podcast. Perfect. <laughs> it's it's a it's a it's kind of a it's kind of a scrodcast. Uh, ooh, ooh, you like a scrod. Don't let the cat out of the bag, there. Don't let the cat out of the bag. It might taste good. Oh Christ! There we go. Glasses is that small here. Little pirate radio on my ass. All right, let's get on with it, shall we? The preface. It was a dark and stormy night. Inasmuch as the venerable Captain Fletcher Tiberius Moon was behind the bar mixing dark and stormies for his crew. A footnote. He got the name Tiberius from his grandfather, but he's not to be confused with the venereal Captain Moon, who wrote penny dreadfuls in the 1880s, including Vicky Verka Vera and her vinegar strokes. They began the age old game of spin the cutlass, and after patching up the bleeding hand of Ensign Stubbs and decided that they rather needed more ice for the drinks, footnote, in as much the same way Franklin did when he single handedly predicted global warming. The cutlass spun round and faced Moon squarely. Now, spin the cutlass is not quite the same as spin the bottle. At least no one is kissed. In fact, there is no bodily contact whatsoever. Footnote. While the no contact rule has been included in the 1732 Brethren Synod in Sadie Hawkins' dance, one could technically use any inanimate object to make a contact with another player. A playing pin, say, or a cannon. The goal of the game is to decide which player was allowing sack of guano, and eliminating the more believable ones was a good strategy. This evening, Moon had learned that Ensign Stubbs was actually a fellow named Ensign Stubbs. That Louis the Moor was never able to properly boil an egg to anyone's satisfaction. Fifi the Bonbon had once been a fashion designer and lead singer of an all women's punk, punk band called the Fluffy Grabbers. <coughs> Jimmy Two Fingers used to be a gypsy, Jimmy the Crimp was a donut eating moron, and Jack Rackham knew 77 verses to the mayor of Bayswater's daughter. Footnote. The mayor of Bayswater's daughter is also known by the common as the hares of her dicky dido. Jack had taken sabbatical several years before and travelled to Bayswater, where he did discover that there in fact was a black one, and a white one, and one with a little shite on, and one with a little coal lamp. That show him the way. <laughs> true story. That was a true yeah. story. As far as anyone knows. That's right. Yeah. Warms the cockles. So of some, uh, of go to uh, piratesroyale.store if you want to download the EP and uh, save, <laughs> us, save us all the 30% that uh, Apple takes when you download it from them. Um, I think the alcohol content is actually higher if you do it that way, too. Exactly. It is. It's 64% yeah. by volume. Yeah. It's unadulterated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't kill the coronavirus with it, but you can really numb your own feelings. That's right. You won't and, know you have it. And it has extra tabs around the edge. Exactly. Yeah. Also, so, um, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you should see the little crusty down there on the bottom right. So easy. Uh, so just, easy. Just, just hover there, click subscribe, help us out. What a great way to start your morning. Just start a Pirates Royale video, and it'll just play on. another Pirates Royale video, and it'll just keep doing that and until you've gone through our whole catalog, which is pretty damn big now. We're up. Uh, and then it'll all start all over again. I've actually so, found that if you put it on the television before you leave to go to work, mm -hmm. your pets will be in the same place when you come back. <laughs> yep, yep. Not watching it. 
As a matter of fact, doing everything they can to not watch it. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all from us, uh, the Pirates Royale, at least the men. Captain, any parting words? Well, I think it's worth a toast. I'll drink to that. Up grog. It's gin, not water. It's whatever you need for it to be. Mine's rum. Mm -hmm. Got rum? <laughs> <laughs>